Hey guys, what's up? Jeremy here. Wanted to talk today a little bit about something that I've gotten some feedback from you guys on YouTube and from a couple friends in relation to reality transurfing and how to start implementing it in your life. It seems that the habit of running your target slide and minimizing importance has been an obstacle. And so I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about how I've gotten in and stayed in the habit so that you guys can get faster results with it as you're manifesting your target slides. Uh, Real quick, if this is your first time here, my name's Jeremy and on this channel we talk about living the dream and fulfilling on your purpose and really doing the thing that you were meant to do and getting paid to do it in your life. And if you are not familiar with the book Reality Transurfing, a quick recap, This is a a book that's largely similar to the law of attraction that from my uh, comprehension of it and application of it is a lot easier. Uh, It makes a lot more sense and can help you to manifest faster without creating as much of a mess in your world and uh, getting there with the least amount of friction and the fastest amount of time possible. In the process of implementing reality transurfing, there's a concept of a target slide. And most people, the law of attraction are used to things like vision boards or maybe even like daily affirmations where you're writing down what it is you're wanting as if it's true. Uh, The law of attraction typically talks a lot about, you know, there's the example of the car you want being in the car and feeling it as if it's real and visualizing it, but it really stops at that point. There's really not many tools, resources, or things that it really shares that help you to implement it and to avoid, you know, time delays and to um, minimize the things that might come in the way of it. It is, It is very simple and straightforward, but it's a bit more complex than most of the things the law of attraction really um, talks about. So if you're interested in checking out reality transurfing, that's the end of the quick recap. Head to whatupjeremy.com slash transurfing, and I will put that in the description below. I highly recommend it. So that being said, let's talk a little bit about the habit system because reality transurfing is largely, largely based, the results of it are largely based and going to be based on how often can you get into running your target slide and how can you do it with keeping um, importance to a minimum. If you're new to this, then I'll leave a link in the description for a video where I talk about what importance is and how to minimize it. But this video, we're talking about the habits because uh, in reality transfer, it gives you a very exact process to follow so that you can easily implement it and so that you can make it a part of your life. And I, I know from experience that that's the easiest way to go about it. Anything worth doing is worth doing daily. And the faster you can get into the habit, the the uh, least amount of time, the, the, the smallest amount of time you can actually spend in getting to the point of that habit. And so let's now talk about what that looks like. One of the things that's really worked strongly for me and has has really helped me to get in the habit of this is something that I would call, and I'm not sure if I'm the inventor of this or if I stole this from somewhere. So if you know where this is from or if you've seen something like it, then leave a comment below. But what I like to do is I like to habit stack. This is very uh, helpful for me and will be very helpful for you if you're also trying to maybe loop in some other habits. Uh, Over the last 90 days, I've been focused on not only meditating, but also reading more. Over the last 60 days, I've been focused on calling my grandma daily, getting to the gym more. Um, I've been focused on um, stretching. I've been focused on a a couple different habits. And so, you know, a lot of people want to focus on one thing at a time. I'm not that sort of person. I really want for everything to compound together. And so one of the things that I've been doing is after I do one of those things, I create a little sequence. Most often the one that I'm best at and the one that I feel uh, I have the most results from is combining meditation with reading and also running my target slide. So typically what I'll do in the morning or whenever I get the chance is I'll take my 10 to 15 minutes to meditate and I'll, I'll, I'll get that done. And then right afterwards, I'll set another timer for 10 minutes where I run one of my target slides. And so that 10 minutes is eyes opened, focused, and the reason I am able to run my target slide so often throughout my day, regardless of this, is partially because I've been really good at meditating. Because when I don't meditate, I don't feel as effective, I don't feel as present, and so meditation has become extremely important to me, and so I do it. And because I'm doing it nine times out of 10, the next thing I'm done when that, when that timer goes off and the meditation is done, I'm gonna be running my target slide. 
and or one of them. And so I usually do um, two of them back to back, although transurfing doesn't, um, it specifically talks about letting one manifest before the other. Um, this isn't my first rodeo, so I'm trying some new stuff. And so I do a 10, I do my meditation. I do a 10 minute timer for my first target slide and do I, a second one for my second target slide. And I've actually begun combining them into one slide to try to make them happen together faster just to see what kind of results I have from it. Habit stacking. It's one of those things that you can start doing. Maybe you do something already every single day. That might be taking a shower. That might be brushing your teeth. That might be walking your dog. Try to attach the habit and the act of running your target slide right after one of those things or right before it. And that brings me to the next thing that you can do besides habit stacking in order to get in the habit of really anything. And that is to reward yourself. And so uh, I did this largely to get into the habit of using my best self journal, whatupjeremy.com slash journal, where I write down my 90 day goals and where I write down my daily goals and where I kind of manage my, um, the goals and the projects I'm going after. And to get in the habit of that, I use something very near and dear to my heart, something very important to me to trigger that, all right? So it's, it's trigger plus reward is really what this is called. And at the time I was living right next to a Starbucks coffee shop and I pretty much, it's maybe I have one day a month where I don't have coffee, like I'm always going to have coffee. And what I started doing is I would get to the coffee shop and the trigger was ordering my coffee and so uh, the ordering of my coffee would trigger me to sit down and get into my journal and to try to get the pen moving and going before my coffee was up and on the counter. And what this resulted in is because I'm gonna have coffee every day, I'm gonna get into my best self journal every day. And now I can't go to a coffee shop without wanting to write things down or wanting to get into productive mode because it's just kind of tied in my mind. And so that got me in the habit of getting into my best self journal because I was gonna have coffee whether it was at seven in the morning or seven at night. And from that point, I was able to really focus on getting into my journal. And then because I started my journal and then my coffee got called to the counter, I had a nice reward to either take right then and there or to take or to take my first sip after I'm done in my journal or doing one component of my journal. And, and now I have the reward of this coffee that I absolutely love and that I'm, I'm gonna be having every single day. And so you can habit stack and you can tie this to other habits or you can also reward yourself. Maybe it's for food. I do this because I, I fast pretty much every single day. I can say that when I'm, um, I'll do this thing and then I can eat. And because I love food so much, that thing is gonna happen. So we talked already about habit stacking and attaching it to one habit. We've now talked about trigger plus reward. The next thing that you can be thinking about and doing to get in the habit of running your target slide and implementing reality transurfing is to have a consequence. Now, I haven't really used this one personally for reality transurfing. I've used this in other areas of my life. For instance, when I was starting my digital agency, there was a time where I had zero clients and I had people in the pipeline, I had conversations going on, but I needed to land some clients. And so one of the things that I did is I punished myself and I said, I'm not going to take a shower until I get my first client. And it only took about four days or until I get my next client, it only took about four days. I have gone as far as to stop cutting my hair or cutting my fingernails and um, it's annoying, it brings it front of mind and because there's that consequence, that, that kind of pain, it caused me to act faster. And so while I haven't implemented this reality with reality transferring because habit stacking and the reward has really been more of what I respond best to, if you are in, um, if there's something important to you, it might be public image or it might be money or it might be something, you can use that as a thing that you're not getting anymore if you don't do what we're talking about. In this particular example, which is running your target slide, you could bring a friend to be accountable for you and say, hey, I can't, you know, don't let me have this thing until I do this or something like that. Uh, something that either gets taken away from you or that you're not going to get if you don't get into the habit of this. So those are my tips for you guys for today to really get on the fast track of implementing reality transurfing because you know the advice inside of there is non, it's no nonsense and it's very easy to implement, but the hardest part is getting in the habit of it and constantly doing it. And um, maybe in another video I'll share with you guys, if you're interested, then, then leave a comment because I've also realized uh, most recently that I've been creating some importance around one of my slides very specifically. And I've begun to minimize and reduce that importance through one of the other techniques in reality transurfing. So if you are already in the habit or getting better about running your target slide and maybe it's not happening fast enough or you're experiencing resistance, leave a comment and maybe I'll do another video talking about how I've managed to reduce the importance and identify it and kind of what I've done to um, kind of clean that up. Um, so I hope this has helped you. If you have not read reality transurfing yet, then I would go to whatupjeremy.com 
slash transurfing. So you can grab that and so you can start going through it. I recommend the physical book so you can underline it, so you can have it and hold it and so that you can um, really feel and read it inside of there. I have the ebook and there's videos on it here on YouTube, but there's nothing I have found as good as the actual book that I have linked um, at the link I just gave you and it's in the description. So it's a book I've read. It's the one I've recommended to a lot of my family and friends, a lot of my students and a lot of you subscribers, a lot of you guys. So definitely pick up the physical book and go through it as fast as you can and go through it again as fast as you can once you've done that because I know you'll experience some good results. Uh, so that's it for today's video. If you like this, head to whatupjeremy.com slash subscribe. That way you can get even more insights about things like manifestation, visualization, goal setting, time management, high performance, and some opportunities exclusively to connect with me one-on-one -on -one for mentoring and things like best self journal giveaways, book giveaways, and, um, and a whole lot more. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe while you're here. Maybe tag a friend, they'll be glad that you did. Until the next one, cheers.